I just pulled into Aldi. It's looking good from here. But you never know. Oh, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, hmm, interesting. I'm not sure what to think. I'm gonna have to dig deeper. Let's do a deep dive. There's a hammer in here. I want that hammer. Pop-Tarts, granola bars, and bonus ginseng, oh, and bonus ginger, I meant. And even more. I'm taking these to the car. Just stepped on an egg. Full. This is the best glue ever. The contractor actually threw that away. And he also threw away his toolbox. Cleanse. Ready to use disinfectant for sanitizing. Oh man. Un unopened. Must have been a contractor. Because hand sanitizer has alcohol in it, um, contractors have a hard time uh, getting rid of them. There's certain rules you have to use and follow to dispose of it. So what do they do? They throw it in someone else's garbage. The, uh, the, it's not the FDA, it's the EPA that regulates that because when you open up alcohol, you admit certain uh, gases into the air and you have to have proof of how much you have opened and how much you have admitted which is crazy, but that's what they do. And instead of doing that, you just throw the case into a dumpster and hope it doesn't explode. This is... Oh my God, these are so cool. I can't believe someone. <laughs> I can't believe someone threw this away. Pet floating device. Uh, yes. Here's the, here's the hammer I saw. Yes. I can't believe someone threw this away. Like you'll never need a hammer again. Like, let's just throw it away because. Why don't use this for a hammer? <laughs> Who knows what's in here? Oh, there's other things that are unopened. <sighs> Hand sanitizer again. And, okay, I think I'm gonna have to get in here. Separate this stuff. Save the stuff a box. God, it's still cold. It's 
still cold. I'll take the milk and the wine. Cleaning agents. Okay. Lots of milk. Ooh, I love these. I love them. I have one in my uh, pantry. Firm tomato. Let me get Mr. Tomato. I'm taking Mr. Tomato home with me. Along with these chocolate cookies, which may need to be refrigerated. Got a vacuum. These are what I love. This is the best part of the whole dive. cat litter. The lid would be nice, but I don't necessarily need it. I just don't want to drop it. Oh. I'll put it on the top step. Flat bread. Mommy can fix that baby, huh? What do you think? Part of the vacuum. Where's the box? Oh, there it is. Gloves that no one's used. That's a good idea. Just throw away all that stuff. use a screwdriver again. Let's throw that away. What's wrong with these people? even exploded yet. Also okay with pickles.
Almost. God, that was close. For a cat scratcher. Face first for the cat scratcher. Cross the clutch. Diet Coke in a while. This is something I've never done. That is margarine. Holy smokes. Never done that before. I'm going to scrape it up with the body scraper. Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. My god, I just realized. I think I was sleeping in a dumpster. Go face first. Definitely 
using their chair to get down. Because I didn't expect this, I didn't prepare for it. So, let's try and recover as best we can. Save me so I get out of here. friends and family members this is one of the best dives I've ever had see you at home right? for the daddy just got home he said this is one of the top five dives ever so we'll see if we agree okie doke here we go with five organic spring mixes the boxes are a little cloudy, but they are in really good shape. The veggies look fantastic. We have some scoopable cat litter without its lid, but it looks like there's quite a bit in there. That's nice. We've got a sad little ficus plant here. I have drenched it with water already, and we'll definitely have to cut off these leaves. Hopefully, hopefully it'll come back to life. I don't know much about the ficus. I've never had a ficus. It seems like something they would have had on the Brady Bunch. Marsha, you forgot to water my ficus. All right, we have an Aruba Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take your shirt. Very, I was going to say Warren Buffett. No, no, very Jimmy Buffett. Um, you know, just a nice cotton tropical shirt and a bathing suit top. You know, kind of a tankini top, but no bottom. Look how cute that is. Pet flotation aid, and it's like a little, a little ladybug. This is for a very small pet. This is like extra, extra small. Extra small, okay. And what size are you for? Five to 15 pounds. That is a tiny little dog. That would probably work with the smallest of our cats. We've got one of these wire organizing baskets. We got another one of those recently. It's supposed to have some uh, hardware, some hooky deal on the back so you can hang it over a door, but uh, I'll find a way to make use of that. 
we have got 13 cans of Diet Cola. Kind of a strange number. Don't know what to say about that. 13. Lucky 13. Lucky 13. We have got the Mechanical Hose Faucet Timer. How cool is that? We have a 3-in-1 fan. Totally cool. This dream come true for Frugal Mommy. Micro pruner set? What could be better? Just today, I was pruning... Uh, what was I pruning? I was pruning the suckers off my tomato plants, and I didn't have a micro pruner set. I was doing it with my thumbnail, and I have to say, I, I decimated a couple of plants, so I need this. We have got some dark chocolate-coated butter cookies, which look so good, and a mystery can. It has the best by date of May 2025. We have got a nice big package of hamburger meat. Almost nine... Well, almost 927 because it's 926. Anyway, user freeze by 72622. Unit price $4. Net weight 2.32 pounds. It's the meat of the day. It looks pretty good. The uh, plastic isn't poofed up and the meat looks pink and it's, you know, I mean, we'll open it up and smell it. It, it is hot out, but, you know, everybody keep your fingers crossed on the meat. We've got a bag of red delicious apples. We have a, I guess this is a quart container of fresh deli pickles, half sours, love that. One tomato, organic stir in tomato paste, pretty cool. Three garden line, three in one portable insect zappers with lights. There's a bug on there right now that needs to be zapped. Oh, you cheeky little devil. Speaking of cheeky. All right, we have three half gallons of 1% low-fat milk, which is amazing because milk was on my list. We're almost out of milk. Date, July 18th. It's, um, well, it's not boiling hot, and it's not chunky yet, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to get it in the fridge ASAP and then give it a sniff. And I guess if it's going sour, I mean, it's... I don't know. It's still usable. I mean, I can make biscuits with it. If it seems just like a little off, maybe I'll make yogurt with it. I, I kind of have a feeling it's actually going to be fine, but not forever. Not forever. we have got two boxes of your crunchy oat and honey granola bars. Love those. Perfect for the prepper pantry or in your glove compartment of your car, your glove box. Um, you know, for when you have those emergencies, like I'm stuck in traffic, I'm on my way home, I'm hungry, that kind of emergency. Look, we've got some fresh ginger. That looks pretty nice. Are you hiding? You're so clever to hide under there. Now look at the Pop-Tarts. We have, uh, what do we have? Frosted brown sugar and cinnamon, two of those. I think we've got three, wait a minute, what's what? Frosted chocolate fudge. Frosted chocolate fudge. Is it different? Look at different. Oh, oh, I see. I now I understand why we have we actually have a real Pop Tarts name brand, and then we have Millville, which is the Aldi brand toaster tarts. Frock, froclet, 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 froclet. I said we have some extra strawberries that came out of their box, and then these frosted strawberries, another frosted chocolate fudge. Oops, where'd you go? You know, escape. We have some disinfectant wipes, apparently some kind of contractor, according to Frugal Daddy, or dumped a bunch of their trash in that dumpster, and we've got anti-back wipes. I mean, that's fantastic. That's very exciting. Love that. We have eight, eight, eight bottles of your cranberry pomegranate flavored juice cocktail. Now, you know when it says cocktail, it means it has a lot of sugar in it. It means it's not really a heck of a lot of juice. So, if we look at the ingredients, we see water, sugar, cranberry juice concentrate, grape juice concentrate, pomegranate juice concentrate, some acid, some acid. We're dropping acid with our cranberry pomegranate flavored juice cocktail. So, um, generally speaking, I am not a huge fan of guzzling down the juice cocktails. However, someday, 
someday one might need liquid, one might need sugar, one might need something just like this. I don't need it today, but someday I might. Alrighty, we have some fabulous bread. We haven't gotten one of those in a while. The Pane Torano. And we have also an artisan flatbread two pack. We have a big old bag of all these versions of Frosted Flakes. They look fine. The box was pretty dented. I almost said demented. It's not really demented. Some adorable little bathing suits with the little cover up tops so you don't get sunburned and the little, little boy trunks. Plus these little sharky bathing trunks. And then these are like little, I think these are like sleepy shorts. That's what I plan to use them for. You know, when you just sleep in a, whatever you sleep in, t-shirt, tank top, whatever. And you want like little shorts or something, little cotton shorts. So there's three pairs of those in a variety of sizes. Oop, we have another little bathing suit. And we've got the scratch and rest. Does that look fun? Perch. Perch and scratchy thing made out of tired blood. Catnip included. We have two bottles of clobber. Just add water. Wait 30 seconds. Oh, it's like there's a powder in there. It comes with a powder in there and you just hydrate it and stick in your little spray nozzle. Oh, more cleaning stuff. Okay, what is this? Stick vacuum. Oh, this is awesome. This is great. This can be our lightweight upstairs vacuum. And um, that looks like a piece of it for sure. Oh, it's heavy. There's all sorts of, all sorts of stuff in that box. We've got some sort of mallet air freshening system all right should spritz that around the inside of the dumpsters <gasps> look who's back oh, we have this unopened box of enviro cleanse ready to use disinfectant and sanitizer for hard non-porous surfaces for commercial and household use 12 one quart plastic bottles let's take a look this chair by the way also brand new folding chair from the dumpster all right, let's take a look what's inside this box. There they are. They are full, they are heavy. These are not empty bottles. Antibacterial disinfectant. Cool. We've also got this little unopened case of something flammable. All right, we'll give this a little look-see to Hey, I harvested my first cucumbers yesterday. They're not huge, but I'm very proud of them. Oh, it's like a whole, oh, I got it. It's a display thing. Oh, hold on a sec. Look at that hand sanitizer in its little display box. 12 of them, daily care by My Beauty Spot. Antibacterial hand sanitizer, original unscented. Oh, I'm glad it's unscented. I've gotten some cheap hand sanitizer that smells kind of like tequila, and you know that's just some liquor factory switching over to making hand sanitizer but it really honestly not a good smell um alcohol 65 percent infused with vitamin e and aloe vera awesome there was an unopened package of all these version of double stuff oreos and um that's never going to make it home unopened little daddies He's tried a couple to make sure they're okay, and he has declared that they are, in fact, okay. Who likes the ficus?